is Etch Bench 1. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just show you a quick view of what's going on. Uh, here's all the, uh, the rinser cascade. Here's the controls in the front. There's your uh, rinser. It's difficult to see, that, but the water's running. You can see, um, you turn it on, you get the light. That will start the cascade rinsing. Uh, the dump rinser, same thing. Go ahead and activate the dump rinser. The light comes on. You can see the dump rinser start to cascade in its initial mode. And it is going to dump the water out and start spraying. This bench has both uh, identical mirror image. So you got the cascade and the rinse on the same side again. You can go ahead and start the cascade. Light comes on and it will start filling with water. The dump rinser, oh here, let me see, you can see the here, the water just starting to fill up here on that one. And you can turn that one off. That one, it was dry when we started it, so you can start here. Okay, and you can turn that one off, and turn the rinse, turn that one off, and then turn the rinser on, and then that one, same as last time, the rinser. The rinser will go. Everything is controlled from the remote keypads. Then we get into the control panels. They all have dump rinser controls. That one is running. This one has the resistivity. You have two channels on your resistivity monitor. You have two channels. You have the one channel and then you flip it to the second channel. That'll give you... So that's one for the uh, tank. Or channel one is for the... Uh, Dump rinser channel two is a cascade. You can flip back and forth whatever one you want to do. And this the dump rinser is actually dumping again here. And this basically is a very basic bench. You also have the uh, carts on the bottom. The carts underneath the station here. You have carts on both sides. They roll in and out. And your uh, DI guns with the wands. Yep, exactly. And then real quick here, we'll do the electronics. We have the electronics, the main power coming in the front on this bench here because when you get it in, in, uh, at the university, you can go ahead and uh, put the uh, incoming power in wherever you would like. All the, uh, everything is labeled, very neatly wired. And you got the electronics on the left side of the bench. And then you're gonna have the pneumatics and all your regulators and uh, air control on the right side of the bench. There's your regulator and gauges. Here, uh, if you want to go ahead and open the next panel, that one has the other pneumatics for all the air uh, pneumatic valves. If we pan back, you can see the head cases are all open. They close up very easy. You want to go ahead and close the head case. You can see how easy they close. Once they're done, you just close them all up for easy access. And last but not least, real quick, we'll show you the front where you can take off the front panels and if you want to make any adjustments to your water valves, all the water valves are in right in front here. All the plumbing is very clean, it's nice and clean and everything is uh, marked for the uh, PID. So again, there's your uh, photo helix for your uh, exhaust that, that is below there. And again, this is portable etch bench one. Oh, and then here real quick, there's your electrical outlets for your bench. Again, everything's a mirror image on this. Whatever you have on the left side, on this particular bench, you're going to have on the right side. And then the, oh, we can do a light switch if you want. There's a light switch on the front. You can turn the lights off and on very easily.